Hi y'all, this is Courtney from GNC Bishop and you're watching the very first episode of The Whole You, the show where I give you tips and tricks on feeling more complete about yourself and about things going on around you. Be sure to subscribe to Mom Pulse as well as our channel and check back here each week for new tips and tricks from me as well as some of the other moms that I might throw into the mix. For this first episode though, I wanted to do how to rock the bump. I am 31 weeks pregnant today, actually yesterday, and I definitely have the bump. I have one pair of pregnancy pants that I had for my son when I was pregnant with him, and I did not buy one other thing for this pregnancy. I've used everything that was in my closet. I'm going to show you how I did that and hopefully it'll give you some insight on the things that you look for in your closet that aren't going to make the bump look even weirder than what it does. This is going to be the first outfit. It is very casual, very run to the store kind of thing, but it still looks like you're pretty put together. These are actually the pregnancy jeans that I had with my son. It's pretty much the Bella band attached to some denim. The thing that I like about this is this bottom part from here to here is elastic. It's, it is a stretchy material. So it can stretch over everything and still and it brings all of this loose t-shirt up here down to a point pretty much. So it's still kind of form-fitting without being suction to your to your um, to your body. And then all I did was just pair it with a longer necklace so that this doesn't just look blah, and then some earrings. And that's all I did. Second outfit is going to be pretty much the same thing as the first, but I'm showing you how this whole thing is a stretchy material. It is very light, so it's not overpowering and hot. And because of the bat wings. You do have breeze so you're not sweating. Underneath of it, since it is such thin material, is a long tank top. The whole thing doesn't have to be long. As you can see, this whole part right here is just lace. So just having that extra coverage um, really does help whenever you're putting together outfits. Because if your shirt falls just like this, that lace will come in and make the outfit up. So it does help. So this is gonna be the third outfit. This is a dress. You do not have to wear it as a dress. You can also wear it with tights. So it kind of brings the whole maternity look together. The reason that this is gonna be a pregnancy outfit is because it is cinched at the smallest part of your waist. In pretty much any kind of fashion, they always tell you to cinch at the smallest part of your waist. Normally my waist would be here, and that's the smallest part. So I would cinch it about here. It is obviously not the smallest part anymore. So the smallest part of my waist is gonna be right underneath. Most of the time when you're pregnant, the smallest part of your waist will be right underneath your breast. So picking shirts that have an elastic that cinches in for you, so you don't have to do it yourself, completely helps. That way you can just throw it on and go. Okay. So it is the exact same shirt, and all I did was just throw in a different accessories. It's still cinched here. The only difference is this is a light scarf. Also, because the cinch on this is so small, you can also turn this around and have the bow kind of on the side, and you've created another maternity look without buying maternity. So here is the fifth outfit. This one, I'm showing you, it does look very similar to the last one, to the fourth outfit, but I'm going to show you something about this one that is just, that just makes it a little bit different. This is actually a dress. It is supposed to be here. It's supposed to sit just like this at my smallest part of my waist. That's why I bought it, but since that is no longer my smallest part of my waist and this is not how I want the dress to fall on me, then I just pull that that um, that cinch up here, and this is where I'm going to cinch it now. Um, because this is supposed to fall at that point, I have to find a way to keep this up. 
So there are two ways of doing it. And that is with the scarf that I showed you. You can just tie it and make it flow just like the rest of it. So you put the scarf like you're going to church, kind of like this. But you don't want it to fall on your shoulders. You do want it to fall about right there. So now you have this. It's kind of even up a little bit. So now you have this. This belt is stretchy. Try not to get a belt that is just a belt. Um, especially when you are cinching your waist yourself. If you get a belt that isn't stretchy, by, oh, 20, 30 minutes, your ribs are gonna hurt. And it's just not a fun experience to have in any way. So you get one that has an elastic already. You put this over that cinch that you pulled up, pulled up and just fasten your belt. Anytime you're wearing a belt up here, this little piece that hangs out, if you fold it in half and stuff it back in, it won't hang out and you'll have this uniform look. This is actually what I wore for my baby shower. So it is one of my favorite outfits. Okay, so this is the last outfit and as you can tell I kind of kept it for the last because, it's, because it is pretty much self-explanatory. If you're trying to show off a bump, the one thing that you can go for is form-fitting dresses, form-fitting shirts, form-fitting everything and it will literally fit to your form. That is my video. I hope I helped you just a little bit kind of um, see the different ways that shirts and dresses can fall on you, where you need them to fall, and most of the time you can use just the stuff that's in your closet. You don't have to get all fancy and go out and buy a whole bunch of new clothes that you're only gonna wear for about nine to 10 months. Thank you so much for watching The Whole You. Don't forget to subscribe to Mall Pulse, and I will see you back here next week. Bye guys.